Story of the Poor God Once upon a time, in a certain place, there was a family of four including an old man, an old woman and a son and his wife living together. In that family, everyone is the same, very good. Even though there were spider webs and soot everywhere, the whole house was dirty everywhere, but no one was willing to clean it up. Until one day, while sleeping, the old man suddenly saw a strip of soot waving on the ceiling. Unable to ignore it, he immediately jumped up, grabbed a broom that he had in and hash 39. T touched in many years and started cleaning. The old woman was very surprised when she saw that. She thought to herself, and quat, the old man alone cannot clean it up, and quat. Then he grabbed a mop that he had in and hash 39. T touched in a long time and started cleaning with the old man. Hearing the sound of sweeping, his son and his wife were also very surprised, thinking, and quat, we can and number 39. T let our parents clean up alone. And quat. So they told each other to pull out some dry rags that they had in and hash 39. T touched for a long time and began to rustle and scrub the house. Just like that, the four of them continuously swept and cleaned for four or five days. In the end, the house was clean and tidy, it looked like another house. It was airy and comfortable. The next morning, the old man was gathering to light a fire when he suddenly saw the scaffold hanging above. There was something hanging in the kitchen that looked like a loofah. And quat, maybe the second guy and number 39's wife is drying something. And quat, thinking like that, he stopped paying attention to that object when suddenly a voice came out. Hey hey! The old man looked around but saw no one. And quat, what a number 39, s wrong with my ear. And quat, the old man was just thinking to himself when the voice came from right above his head. Hey hey! Ha! Huh. The old man looked up. The loofah-like thing dangling from the trellis above the stove was saying something. Hey old man, I am. I have lived in this rig for a long time, full of dust and soot, it is very comfortable. But now, it and number 39, s so clean, it and number 39, s really uncomfortable. I can and number 39, t live here anymore. Can you take me somewhere else? The old man was very surprised but replied, Okay. But where does it lead now? The god replied, From your house, just go straight and you will meet a very dirty old man. Just secretly rub yourself against him. Hearing that, the old man relented and took the god out of the house. As he walked, he thought, and quat. Wait, this is the God who has been in my house for a long time. It would be a shame to let him leave like that. Maybe I should just sell him to someone else. And quat. However, if we advertise, and quat. There is the God of poverty. I sell the God of poverty. And quat. Surely no one will buy it. The old man struggled to think. What to advertise now, long and long like a loofah and with a strange appearance, or maybe, and quat, I sell strangely shaped things, and quat, I sell strangely shaped objects. The old man preached as he walked forward. But everyone just came to look and then moved aside, absolutely no one asked to buy. And quat, wow. Did I accidentally bring something unwanted? And quat. Thinking so, the old man took the god off his back and continued walking. Just then, an old man with messy hair and disheveled clothes approached. The poor god then called out, Hey hey, I will follow that old man, so whenever he comes, 
Sneak me up against him. The old man deliberately staggered and gently rubbed the other old man and number 39's back. At that moment, he felt his whole body suddenly feel light. From then on, the old man and number 39's house was always filled with laughter. People no longer work hard and become prosperous. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.